Hey, welcome back. We're reading from Lamentations chapter 1, verses 17 to 19 today for our devotional thought. Zion spreads out her hands, but no one comforts her. The Lord has commanded concerning Jacob that those around him become his adversaries. Jerusalem has become an unclean thing among them. The Lord is righteous, for I have rebelled against his commandment. Hear now, all peoples, and behold my sorrow. My virgins and my young men have gone into captivity. I called for my lovers, but they deceived me. My priests and my elders breathed their last in the city while they sought food to restore their life. So what do we see here in our reading? Well, God is in ultimate control, right? No one comforts the people. No one comforts Jerusalem. God, the Lord has commanded concerning Jacob, you know, this stance that the different nations will have around him. Uh, God doesn't, I think, always force each nation to do his thing, but at different times, I think he brings things together to cause his will to happen. And right now, he's chastening his people. And so he has put them into kind of this isolation mode so that they could stop and stop trying to get alliances and stuff going on because they need to learn to trust in him, the Lord God of heaven. God is in ultimate control of the reality around us. It's true. Now, right here we see verse 18, For I rebelled against his commandment. The Lord is righteous, for I rebelled against his commandment. Very important recognition here. God is righteous. Not you, not me. God is righteous. And I rebelled against his commandment. In other words, there's kind of an acknowledgement going on here, which we didn't see again very much of in the book of Jeremiah. There's an acknowledgement here that the people of God have done wrong. My transgressions, right? We've been rebellious. So these things are happening to us. That's important. It's very important. We've noticed it already in this chapter, kind of an owning, a willingness to own our transgressions, to own not only that they're transgressions, not only that God is coming against us, but he's coming against us because we were wrong. See? So that, that ability to admit we're wrong and to say, I want to change, I want to be transformed, this, this isn't what I want for me, that's important. And God is working for his people here. Notice the allies here at the end of our reading. My priests and elders breathed their last in the city. I called for my lovers, you know, but they were busy seeking food. And they died while they were looking for a few morsels of food to eat. Isn't it a piece of irony here that the people that we might be looking for help from, what are they doing? They're scavenging just to find a, a dandelion they can eat. Uh, it, it, they're very needy. The people we look to for help, for human help, is always disastrous. We need to look to heaven above for the help that our God has for us. So what lessons can we draw from our reading here today? Well, one such lesson might be that our co-conspirators or our, uh, our prospective allies, they're untrustworthy, they're undependable. They are not as powerful as we might in our imagination think they are. And so we, we've got to be careful. We don't want to look to the wrong people, the wrong sources for strength. God is the source for strength. So again, in our reading here today, very important admission, the Lord is righteous. We've done wrong. We've been rebels, and we need, we need to turn, and we pray that God will still have mercy on us and still accept us. Wonderful thoughts, hopefully, that Jeremiah is giving for that, that express some of the thoughts of the people of Judah, the remnant that remains there. Let's pause and pray. Dear Father in heaven, you continue to be in ultimate control. Uh, we want to trust in every which thing but you, it seems. So help us to, to throw away that kind of nonsense behavior and learn to trust in you. Please, Lord, help us to have a heart turned toward you. We pray that you'll give us the gift of repentance, and we ask for it in Jesus' name. Amen. So God go with you and all of your needs today. And if there's something, if there's a place, a place where you need some repentance, pray that God will give it to you so you can turn more fully to Jesus. God be with you today.